Okay, so today had a little different structure than um, Friday. Friday we did a lot of dumbbell stuff. Uh, sorry, barbell stuff. Today we did a lot of a lot of dumbbell stuff. Um, the nice thing was is we could get a lot of dumbbells and alter the weight a lot depending on the movement to find an appropriate difficulty. Now, if you're at home and you only have one or two dumbbells, this might be difficult to do uh, for some of these movements, especially some of these presses that are strict. If you have a heavier dumbbell, which is good for snatches and push presses and stuff like that, or two-arm stuff, you're going to find that the dumbbell you have, um, excuse me, may be too challenging. Um, on the other side, some of you guys might have lighter dumbbells and it might be too easy. So I've got a few different variations in here uh, that should be acceptable. Um, notice for these first three movements, we're always doing one arm at a time and we're doing uh, the 350 method. So 350 method, three, three sets, as many reps as possible, we're aiming for 50 total. Now, everything's one sided, so it's gonna be 50 per arm. So let's just take the standing strict press, right? We do, you know, 23 on this arm, we switch, we do 23 on the other. Next set, we do 16 of each. Last set is 11, hey, I hit 50. Um, so this will, hey, if you have the appropriate size dumbbell, hey, that works perfectly. Something tells me that that's gonna be very few of us. So if you have the appropriate size dumbbell, you can get around 50, maybe you hit 42 or 57 reps, that's fine. But for those that have a heavier dumbbell, um, do a push press and we'll keep the same, I've written three, three times max. And the reason is um, it allows us to fall a little short or come a little high and not feel so bad. Um, so if you have a heavier dumbbell, that's the way to go. Push press, three sets of max, We're still trying to keep it as, as 350 as possible, do the best you can. Let's say you have a very light dumbbell. A very light dumbbell, I'm gonna get to 50 reps in two sets. We're still gonna maybe do three sets of strict press, but um, you may end up getting 70, 80 reps, and that's okay. Brian and I don't have any, any dumbbells, let's stick with the pike press. Okay, moving on. Single dumbbell floor press. We're on the floor, we're doing a bench press, right? Your arm is gonna hit the floor, that's okay. You're doing one arm at a time, just like we did with the standing strip press. Again, if you have an appropriate weight dumbbell, it's gonna work out well. If you've got a light dumbbell, we can go uh, three sets max reps, just like we talked about in part A with a light dumbbell, and you'll just end up doing a lot more reps. Oh, I did 70, 80 reps. Not a big deal, we still got some good work in. If you have a heavy dumbbell, there's really not a lot we can do with this. So instead, I've got, or if you don't have a dumbbell, we've got some push-up work. We're going to work uh, three sets of 20 military push-ups. So you're keeping your elbows tucked tight to your sides and three sets of 10 diamond push-ups. So we're getting an extra 90 push-ups in there. Take your time if you're doing the push-ups, guys. It, it's going to take longer to get through it, um, but good quality push-ups are, are what we want. Third, single arm dumbbell row, same story. Uh, whether you have a heavy or a light dumbbell, we can still approach this as three max rep sets. Um, if I've got a very light dumbbell, again, I'm gonna get 70, 80 reps. If I have a very heavy dumbbell, I want you to think about going to uh, muscular failure. Um, so you may not get 50 reps, you may only get up 30 reps, but you are getting to the point where you can no longer lift the dumbbell high enough. So that's what I mean by muscular failure. Your muscles can no longer do the required work. And again, this gives us some playroom depending on the equipment you have. No equipment, we're just gonna do a ton of body rows. We're just gonna get a good squeeze in the upper back, we'll get some work done in there. We've got a little AMRAP to finish. Uh, we've got alternating dumbbell snatches. Um, so we're switching arms every rep until we get to 10 total. If you have a very, very light dumbbell, you might want to consider doubling these reps, so doing 10 per side instead. Like if, if, if you have like a 50, oh, I have a 15 pound dumbbell and I usually use a 35. Just double the reps, 10 per side. Um, I don't think anybody has a super heavy dumbbell, so it should work out. No dumbbell, we're just gonna throw in some jump squats. It's, I know it's not the same movement, but we just want something in there. 
And then the rest of it is our bear crawls and our burpees. This one will go pretty well. I think you guys will enjoy it.